Hey guys, what's up? What's up? I think I did turn on. I actually think I did turn on slow mode. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure slow mode's actually on. Yeah, it's uh. Let me just change this to twenty. Uh, yeah, I mean, I already have slow mode on once every ten seconds. Once every ten seconds. Uh, whether it's working or not, it's not really under my control. But I actually do have slow mode on. Definitely have slow, I mean like, uh, yeah. So we have Bitcoin being about 50K. Um, the SEC has targeted Uniswap and South Africa has warned against Binance. So that's where we are right now. Um, right now, Bitcoin is at, I think 50,300. So while it has cleared 50K, it hasn't solidly cleared 50K. It's still at 50,351. So we're still very much in, we are still very much in the 50,000 range. And I do think we will probably get rejected and we might try it repeatedly over the weekend. Now, I hope, now, now I hope, I really hope that we actually get past 50K soon. I definitely hope that we get, actually get past 50K soon. Um, I'm not really sure when, but uh, you can see that everything else is waiting for 50K. Cardano is at 298. VeChain is just waiting to break out at 14.5 cents. I mean, VeChain has already gone up a lot the last couple of days. I think everyone is just waiting to pounce that uh, when Bitcoin clearly uh, gets really past 50,000. Now, if it goes to 53, 52, 53,000, I think that's the, I do actually think that's kind of the signal for all the alts to go up. But I think the alts are just, just waiting to go up, just waiting to go up. Volume is kind of low, but if you really, it, volume is kind of low, but if you actually look at volume from like last, if you actually uh, look at volume from last year's pump, If you actually look at if you actually look at the volume from if you actually look at the volume from last year's pump, yeah, um, it, we didn't really get past we didn't really get a lot of volume until we got past twenty k. So my guess is like once we get to the sixty sixty five k area, then volume will finally go up. Like I think volume has to wait until sixty sixty five k for it to actually go up. That's my that's just my guess because like until we get past until we actually get past. Um, until we actually get past that mark, until we actually get past that mark, I don't think people are going to be excited about crypto because people are always looking for the bull run. And for the general public, the bull run doesn't come until we get past our, um, like, uh, the bull run doesn't really come until we get past the all time high. At least, I mean, like to me, obviously that's not the case. But for a lot of people, but for a lot of people, that's actually the case. The bull run doesn't come until we get to our all-time high. Uh, going to be strong, Q4. Did you see Atlas doing 100x in the min in a min yesterday? Dang, that's insane. BitBoy said his videos in his that BTC will go to 100k this month. Yeah, I, I don't think so. September already starting to be a good month. Yeah, the, the thing is, you really can't, you honestly really can't uh, rely, you really can't rely on historical markers for how, you can't really rely on historical markers for how good or bad September is actually going to be. Um, yeah, like historical markers are not really all that valid for uh, how September is actually going to be. Because there's just not enough data. So September is starting out pretty well, but we don't really know how it's actually going to go. There's no real reason that September should be bad. I mean, sure, we could get a black swan event, but that could happen at any time. And I don't really think uh, September has any special implication for that. I mean, I, I don't think we'll actually dump in September. Like at at the at the worst, we can stay in the forty to fifty thousand dollar range. I actually think we're probably going to move up in September. 
Um, because we're constantly at we're constantly attacking the fifty thousand marks. Uh, in a survey, sixty nine point seven percent of people in El Salvador are against BTC as a legal tender. It will affect the bull run. No, because El, El Salvador isn't really a big player in the crypto market. The boy said he will announce a partnership soon with ADAX, so he's going to partner with ADAX. How does that even work? I, I suppose like uh, I suppose like they're sponsoring him, but then you don't. But then you just know he's kind of shilling the coin. I think September will dip still. We have gone up too fast. We might dip 40k range. When do you think crypto will decouple from four-year BTC halving cycle? I don't know if it really. I don't really know if it will. I, I think something has to flip Bitcoin and maintain flippage of Bitcoin to actually for that to stop. And then like we'll just be tied to that coin because like, I mean like even the stock market tends to follow the index. So you're never going to fully decouple from everything. Can you see Cardano overtake ETC's market cap? No, not by the end of the year. I think like, I, I think like Cardano overtaking Ethereum might happen, but definitely not by the end of the year. I think that's just wishful thinking at this point. I mean, we only have four months left, and yes, Cardano will grow, but you're you're also kind of de you're also kind of depending on Ethereum just like staying there and not growing. And I just I just don't really see Ethereum staying there and like not growing. Ethereum's I mean. Ethereum, Cardano is growing, but Ethereum will actually grow as well. I think Matic is not going up. Rest is flying. I don't know. I mean, like it might have been like Matic just went up way too fast the last year or so. I mean, it's it's it is going up, but but really not all that much. Um, eventually Matic will blow up. I just don't really know. Eventually Matic will blow up, but I just don't really know when. We'll flip after the cycle of ETH. Yeah, if ETH 2.0 messes up, that's going to be a huge thing for Cardano. Because like then a lot, I, I think at that point, a lot of the ETH developers will definitely think about uh, coming over to Cardano. We don't even even, we don't even know when ETH 2.0 is going to fully launch. That's the thing. We don't really know when ETH 2.0 is really even going to launch. Can you, um, do you think crypto will decouple? Yeah, I already answered that. So yeah, like Bitcoin being solidly above 50K is going to be a very, very hot, very, very important marker. Bitcoin above 50K is going to be an extremely important marker. I think, uh, I, I do think that's where, um, I do think that's where people are actually coming from. Hey, Jago, Matic not running because people flocking to SOL. Why use layer two? We can use a chain that's just as good if not better than... I mean, look, most of these chains are just as good, if not better than layer one. But the thing is, use it, I think it's easier to onboard onto Matic from Ethereum than onboard onto SOL. That's the thing. So your idea to short 88? Yeah, I wouldn't short anything right now. I mean, the thing is, if Bitcoin goes up, it, even if, if Bitcoin goes up, then the rest of the market is going to go up as well. Like if Bitcoin goes up, like he would, like if if BTC goes up, then he the rest of the market's gonna go up as well. Hey Jimmy, do you think this is a relief rally, just like twenty eighteen rally? No, I don't think so. Uh, flock coins are the same as meme coins. I would short Shiba. <coughs> I honestly wouldn't short Shiba right now because like you don't really like these meme coins could pump pretty hard in a bull run. And we don't really know when that run's going to come. Sol could hit $500 this cycle. Yeah, it's possible. SOL could hit $500 this cycle. Seems like Solano will reach five. So, yeah. Chance for BTC super cycle. I mean, there's always a chance for that. But it's just like hypothesizing right now uh, when we talk about like super cycles. It's just it's just hypothetical right now when we talk about super cycles. So let's actually talk about the SEC going after Uniswap now. We know they sued Bit. We know that the SEC sued BitConnect yesterday, but that's like an instant win for them. So the unicorn might actually be getting slaughtered. The unicorn might actually be getting slaughtered these days. So SEC is investigating Uniswap Labs. The regulator is seeking information about how investors use the decentralized exchange and how it's marketed. So obviously, like, going after Uniswap is kind of this, 
going after Uniswap is kind of the same thing as going after DeFi. Like going after Uniswap is basically the same thing as going after DeFi. So the US SEC is investigating the developer of decentralized exchange Uniswap Labs, the Wall Street Journal reported Friday. The SEC is seeking information about how investors could use the exchange, use the exchange and how it's marketed, the report said, citing people familiar with the matter. The exchange developer has said that it will insist the regulator with a civil inquiry. The SEC has declined to comment according to the Wall Street Journal. Obviously, Uniswap is Ethereum's biggest DEX by far. It's by far, I think, the biggest DEX out there. Um, we don't really know what the SEC wants to know, but the news is a sign of the regulator's intent to wield greater oversight of, over DeFi. So the SEC definitely wants to regulate DeFi. And that could actually be really bad for DeFi because, as we know, most of DeFi is actually centralized. And because most of DeFi is actually centralized, it can be regulated and it can be regulated out of existence. If you have a central point of failure, which most of these uh, DeFi projects do uh, do because they're not truly decentralized, they can be in a lot of trouble, something that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler hinted in the recent comments. No wrongdoing appears to have been alleged at this time. They might just be going through Uniswap to invest other DeFi projects. So because Uniswap may have some more information on DeFi projects. Uh, Gensler's argue, Gensler has argued while there may be no central entity in charge of decentralized exchange, that's actually not always true. Um, DeFi projects offer incentives or digital tokens to participants that can fall under the purview of SEC regulation. I'm actually sure a lot of them do. And it's also not very true that I, I think a lot of them do have like God keys and a lot of them do have like a centralized structure. And he says like, there's still a core group of folks that are not only writing the software, like the open source software, but have often have governance and fees. That's true. Someone is receiving the governance. Someone has like a lot of the team has controlled the governance and the fees for a lot of, um, uh, DeFi projects. So that's where, that's actually where DeFi actually might be in trouble. That's actually why, where DeFi might actually be in trouble because DeFi is actually centralized. DeFi is not decentralized. Does this mean all swaps would get the same treatment? That's possible. I mean, they're always like, look, these, like, they're always going to target the biggest ones first. And then like once after they target the biggest ones, they can actually target the smaller ones. And, and the thing about Uniswap is like, I don't like, Due to some recent stuff that's happened at Uniswap, I don't think they're truly decentralized. I don't even think Uniswap's truly decentralized either, if you really look at it. I highly doubt Uniswap's truly decentralized because they said they were actually gonna they were actually gonna prevent some coins from being listed. And if that's true, if they're actually if they can actually prevent coins from being listed, then they're probably not decentralized. There's going to there's going to be like a central point of failure for uh, something like Uniswap. Was the news worth the hype? I mean, I don't know. Like they did launch the Discord server. They did actually launch the Discord server. So they did do what they said they would do. I don't know if it was worth the hype or not, but they did actually do what they said they would do. You see LTC reaching 500 bucks. Um... Yeah, I mean LTC is already broken four hundred. It just retraced, so I can fully see, I can fully see LTC reaching five hundred dollars. That's not uh, that that's really not. I don't think it's really that hard for LTC to actually reach five hundred bucks. My opinion. My opinion, of course. My opinion. Gary Ginsler thirsty to please his masters like a good dog. You know the thing is, like the SEC probably wants money out of all this too. So going after Uniswap makes sense. And plus, like Ichigo, I think Uniswap isn't that hard of a target. And also, like, the thing is, like, they might not actually be going after Uniswap, like, itself. They actually might be going after the projects that are on Uniswap. So there's always that possibility. Public service announcement, Gary Gensler, you know, didn't realize decentralized had so much gray. If you question, it probably isn't. But look, I I'm almost sure that, like, 90% of decentralized finance isn't actually decentralized. I mean, like, we've heard of, like... You know, we've, we've heard of a, like, a lot of exploits, a lot of like God key stuff. So like, I do think most of decentralized finance is actually centralized. Can wait for a pulse ETH fees suck. Dude, pulse is probably going to suck as well. Layer two is just much better. Like layer, like layer two, like polygons way better than like pulse. Didn't realize. Yeah. 
I mean, like, people, I think, just call them, I think, like, projects just call themselves decentralized. I think people, I think projects just like to call themselves decentralized to attract people. I think the majority of them are actually centralized. I do think the majority of them are actually centralized. I do agree there are probably too many securities, like tokens in the space, though. I, I would guess that most of them would actually qualify as securities. Thoughts on Solana? I mean, I'm still very bullish on Solana. It's it's risen really fast, so we, it might pull back. But if Bitcoin keeps on trudging forward, it's going to do very well. I mean, if I mean, like if you look at all the main nets, like ADA is about to break three dollars, ETH is about to break four thousand, um, Solana, you know, it's it's probably going to go to like one fifty or something soon. So like all these things are actually doing really well. Everything is just look. Everything is basically on tap and trying to see if Bitcoin fifty thousand is going to be broken. Any news on VeChain two point I mean, they keep on saying like the, by the end of this year. I don't really know. Ken Swin said we're going to see a hundred thousand eighty. I mean, look, any of these predictions might be right. They could also be complete BS. Everyone is basically just everyone is just complete guessing. Everyone is just complete guessing. That that's like that's really my opinion on things. Like I think everything everyone is just legitimately guessing on what's going to happen. Opinion on AMP? I don't know, like, I suppose. Opinion on AMP, I mean, I, it's the, AMP is like the collateral thing, so I, I suppose it should be okay. When should I move my crypto from Cobalt to Binance to sell? Um, I mean, I would wait until you hit your exit mark, actually. I got myself 0.5 ETH on Binance platform. Do you think it's worth the stake in an ETH 2.0? Um, you can you should only stake an ETH 2.0 if you're will if you're uh if you are willing to leave it there for at least a year and a half. Because I don't think you can pull it out after you stake it on 2.0. What makes you bullish on Serum? I mean, Solana's growing really huge, and Serum is essentially Solana's like DEX system. Amp versus Cody, that's hard to say. If BTC hits a market cycle top of 200k, do you think the price of VET will peak at? I mean, I'm generally looking for a dollar for VET, but if, it, but if BTC hits 200k, I think VET can reach like two or three dollars. Do you think Algo is going to see five dollars? Maybe. I mean, I haven't really been keeping close tabs on like Algo price. I don't have the patience. I don't know why I bought Atlas is because my money's been stuck in, at ADAX and sold for too long. Dude, like ADAX and Salat, like that was like a week ago, man. You need more patience than that. Do you believe ADA will be going up a lot? I still think ADA has the, the potential to hit $10. I mean, that's always kind of been my opinion. I don't really know um, if that's, I don't really know like how true that is, but I do think like it still has the potential to hit 10 bucks. Definitely has the potential to hit $10. So outside of the SEC targeting Uniswap, South Africa has warned against Binance. So like Binance is just facing trouble from like all over the world. So I do think like things like other coins will actually flip Binance. I do actually think other things will actually flip Binance. So basically the FSCA, which is South Africa's largest financial watchdog, and they've warned the public against Binance. They say, if something goes wrong, you're unlikely to get your money back and will have no recourse against anyone. I mean, that's always kind of been true. So the FSCA warns public against Binance Group. The Financial Sector Conduct Authority, FSCA, warns the public to be cautious and vigilant when dealing with Binance Group, which obviously includes Binance, as they are not authorized to give any financial advice or render any intermediary services in terms of Financial Advisory and Intermediary Services Act. Uh, 2002, the FSCA received information that Binance Group, an international company situated in the Seychelles, which has a telegram group that members of the South African public can join to access to their uh, cryptocurrency exchange platform, the FSCA would likely cause, would like caution that in addition to this entity not being authorized to provide any financial services or businesses, crypto-related investments are currently not regulated by the FSCA. 
So it's kind of a warning against Binance and crypto or any other body in South Africa. As a result, if something goes wrong, you're unlikely to get your money back and will have no recourse against anyone. Members of the public should always check that an entity or individual is registered with the FSCA to provide financial authority, advisory, and intermediary services in that category and what category of advice it is, it is that the entity is registered to provide. There are instances where persons are registered to provide basic advisory services for a low-risk product and then offer services of a far more complex and risky nature. The FSCA again reminds consumers who wish to conduct financial services with an institution or person to check beforehand with the FSCA on either the toll-free number or on the website as to whether or not such institution or person is authorized to render financial services and in particular which financial products they are licensed for. So the FSCA is basically warning people uh, against, you know, delving too far in this stuff. They're warning people against Binance. And they're saying that if something goes wrong, you have no recourse with anyone. That's basically what they're saying. Like, if uh, you get screwed by Binance, if you get screwed by Binance, you have no recourse and you are completely and utterly screwed. That is what the FSCA is saying. Will regulations help or hurt BTC? It depends what the regulations are. Like regulations aren't a broad monolithic thing. It really depends how the regulations come out. If the regulations are favorable towards BTC, then sure, it'll help BTC. But the regulations are not favorable, then it'll hurt. I personally think like BTC will be fine in terms of regulations. How does that news bode with BSC? I don't really know like, I don't really know how much the authorities um, connect BT, uh, with B, BNB with something like cake. Thoughts on KCS, KuCoin? Eh. I mean, I think KuCoin is riding high that Binance is having trouble, but I think you'd be mistaken if you don't think KuCoin is going to be targeted like Binance. Sounds like FSCA wants licensing dollars for operations. I mean, yeah, you could you could definitely look you definitely could look at it that way. Is Serum one of those you consider a cautious one two hundred dollar investment? Um. I think Serum is a little bit more solid than that. I, I do think like Serum could, for, for me, would warrant a slightly bigger investment. Because I think Serum is definitely more solid. It's basically Solana's uh, DEX ecosystem. So I would be, I would be like a little bit, I, I'm a little bit more optimistic on Serum. And I think it's a little bit better. Thoughts on Immutable X? I know they're debuting soon. I mean, <clears throat> it is Layer 2. And I know that a couple of games are going to be on Immutable X. So that could be pretty cool. Kukun is crap got hacks not too long ago. It happens, man. It, it definitely happens. Definitely happens. I believe XRP can ever go back to number three. I mean, it's possible, like for them to have like a like a, like a sudden surge to go up to number three. I do think so. I do think in the long run, though, Cardano is more likely to be above XRP, though. I don't have any news on sold and ADAX. Like, honestly, like if I had a lot of profit in those two coins. I would definitely take some profit because I'm just like, you know, I'm not very confident in the team of those two coins. I don't, you know, I don't really find too much information about them. They were like coins, like those are coins that you put money into hoping to get like flip over a couple times and take some profit to invest in other things. Cardano looking to raise at least a 10 trillion locked up assets in Africa eventually. I don't really know when they're going to, where they're going to get the 10 trillion in locked up assets. So that seems like a lot. Salon X. Look at the price. Well, I mean, that's actually not a, that's really not a rug pull. I mean, it's down 16%. It's really down, down 16% isn't really that much of a rug pull, man. These small projects can, these small projects can swing so heavily that down 16% isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it's really not. I, I People, like, these small projects, you have to be prepared for, like, 30 40% swings. Can you check a soul farm if, if I believe you can tier 100x? It's like YFI. You know, the thing about that is, like, I don't know if I would actually, um, I don't know how much I trust any uh, coin that basically has tulips as the ticker. Because I don't know if you guys, if, I don't know if you know the history about the whole tulips thing. Because uh, tulips is like, uh, tulips is like basically like code word for bubble. 
So Soulfarm is a decentralized yield aggregator on Solana built ground up, being the first of its kind in the Solana ecosystem. The strategies used in our vaults are designed in-house to maximize user profitability. Users will be able to deposit their funds into our vaults and sit back while the vaults do the hard work. Auto compounding will generate the optimal yield with efficient time intervals between harvests. With Solana's low transaction costs, our strategies are able to compound frequently, boosting users' earnings. I, I don't really know if I trust this, honestly. I, I don't really know. BitBoy is partnering with ADAX at his li in his live stream today. Well, uh, look, but uh, I mean, like that just means BitBoy is going to be promoting ADAX. That's uh, that's all that really uh, that's all that really means. ADAX paying him to shill. I I'm guessing that's what it is, because like I'm guessing that's what ADAX is. I mean, like. You have to pay Bitboy for him to promote your product. Sure, that's an extreme. Yeah, I think ten million is extreme number. Like I said, I have no idea. If, I have no idea where Cardano is going to get that kind of cash. Ada uh, project has with one billion right now. Yeah, I mean it is. It is. So Adax will pump soon. What do you mean? So Adax will pump soon. After Bitboy shills, I'm going to dump the whole bag. Yeah, if Bitboy sh like. Uh, that's actually what I would do if BitBoy shills ADAX and it starts if it goes up a lot, I would definitely sell the entire bag. Like if you see a mess, if you see a big if you see a big pump after BitBoy shills ADAX, I would definitely sell the damn bag. I mean, like that's just like that's basically like a code that's like a secret code word to sell at that point. Because like if it goes up like two or three x after he shills it, that's that's easy profit, and I would just sell and go on to something else. You're gonna find a lot of these small projects. Like, like, like you're going to find a lot of these small projects in there. And if it's been shilled and pumped, then it, it's time to, it's time to leave and get into something else. Cause you made your money. Now it's time to look for another project. I, I mean, if you're looking for like a, if you're looking for a Solana Dex, I would just definitely look at Serum. <clears throat> I would just, I would definitely look at Serum if you're looking for a Solana Dex. That definitely has something to it. Hold it X, but if it does get its radiate. It's obviously not 10T at once. He probably meant that the economy has potential to go to have a GDP of 10 trillion in the far future. I mean, so I don't know about the country of South Africa. If you're talking about the region of Southern Africa, of course, I don't know about the country of South Africa itself has a, has a potential of 10 trillion. They do have a lot of diamonds there. I will say that South Africa definitely does have a lot of diamonds. Bought Estau airdrop this channel back in May. Guess what? Estau is nice. People take his words out of context usually. Maybe. I mean, like, people just look at, people just look at, like, really large numbers that people, uh, that, like, uh, prominent people mention. They're like, oh, my gosh, it's going to be amazing. So that's kind of what I see for that. That's really kind of what I see for that. People are always going to take, uh, people are always going to take words out of context. I mean, Africa as a whole can do way more than 10 trillion per year GDP. I know 10 trillion sounds like a really large number, but Africa is really large. They do have a lot of natural resources. However, Africa does need to develop a lot of infrastructure. So the SEC is going after Uniswap. They're working with Uniswap. My guess is like they might be trying to audit Uniswap, but I think they're just as interested in some of the projects on Uniswap. So like they might seriously be looking at some of the more shady projects on Uniswap. And there are a lot of shady projects on Uniswap. I'm not going to answer your question if you type in all caps. What does SEC say about uni? I mean, they didn't really say anything yet. There's been no accusation. There's been no accusation. There's actually been, there's actually been no accusation of any wrongdoing. So they might actually just be working with Uniswap to actually like, to actually like kind of audit some of these projects thoughts on audius i think audius has a lot of potential man because like music nfts are going to be a huge use case what's your opinion on btc short-term price action um i actually think like i mean i i don't know like i still think it's going to bounce between 45 and 50 for maybe like a few more days or a week or so but eventually it's going to break 50 so i mean if you if you're patient enough to wait for a couple of weeks i think you'll eventually like it'll eventually break 50 and we'll have a lot of gains. I think that's why he chose Africa. If Cardano can gain the base of its infrastructure, everything will be built on top. Yeah, I mean, like, 
it is the continent where he's able to push it the most because Africa is looking to build infrastructure and they're looking for a technology stack too. So if, if Cardano can be that technology stack, they can be absolutely huge for the future. Audius integrated SOL based NFTs in its platform. Nice, nice. That's really nice. Matic is not really moving the last couple of days. I don't really know. I mean, it's, I'm not going to really know like why any coin is like moving or not. My guess is like, like Matic is might, might be taking like a break from like from its hyperbolic run in the last year. Solana tweeted this yesterday. How big a deal is this? Solana mainnet beta suffered performance degradation temporarily. Uh, it could be like it, it definitely could be. There were a lot of people buying it. I I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it to affect it for long. IOTA is like a super super long term type of project. Bitboy buys and then releases a video saying his coin will pump hard. I mean, that's what a lot of influencers do, though. I mean, they uh, like sometimes they don't even buy the coin. They just get paid. They get paid by other uh, they get paid by the company in the coin and then they pump the coin and sell it. They will go from no infrastructure to adopting the third largest blockchain in their base layer in a small amount of time. It could I mean, you could say it's a leapfrog, but what I'm really talking about infrastructure is like Internet infrastructure. A, a lot of Africa doesn't have like the physical infrastructure to be there. Check the big Tron BitTorrent news. Justin Sun on fire. Did he? Uh, did he just tweet or something? Did he just do it on Twitter? Justin Sun Twitter. So uh, he obviously has. I am happy to donate my three point four million other rocks, funding life extension per. Okay, he bought some other rocks. I will ape into more NFT tomorrow. So he's buying more eight NFT. Something about other rocks. Um, I don't really see the he. Okay, Justin Sun like tweets way too much. I give Bitboy he shows. Bit, yeah, um, Bitboy can never do a Wall Street show. He leaks so much unreliable info. Well, when will will I visit China again? Probably in a couple of years. What like the COVID thing has to lift right now. But. St I mean, Red, I think, is a decent project. There's, I haven't heard, I don't have too much news about it, but Starlink's goal is to provide people like uh, Africa instant infrastructure with just a satellite dish. Yeah, but I, I don't really know, like, I, I think, like, some of it, you do need uh, physical infrastructure. It's not only the internet that, it's really not only the internet that Africa needs. Like, some, like some places in Africa just don't outright have electricity. Like, internet's not going to do you much good if you don't have electricity. Like when I'm talking about infrastructure for Africa, I'm talking about like industrialization of Africa overall, like that, like, like industrialization of Africa on a large scale really hasn't happened. I think that actually needs to happen. New BTC BitTorrent chain is coming just another nothing burger. Okay. Saw Ken up 70% on Cointiger earlier. That's probably because it didn't have that much volume. I mean, Ken, Ken can wildly fluctuate a lot as well. There's a lot of there's honestly a lot of uh, money to be made in Ken swing trading, but I don't really trust Coin Tiger, so I probably I'm not on Coin Tiger. I don't understand Bitboy gets heat from everyone yet. He has like one million subscribers. I mean, look, the reason he has one million subscribers is because he's talked about a lot. Whether it's like hate or love, like people talk about him a lot, so people check him out and he gets a lot of subs. I mean, I honestly, like, you might listen to him for entertainment, but I wouldn't really take anything he has to say seriously all that much. I bought Cardano at two cents in 2019 at $1,000. Should I sell or leave it until it reaches $5? You mean $1? Or $10? I mean, I would sell at $10, definitely. At least take a lot of profit at 10 bucks. That's why Charles keeps saying, hopefully, in a decade or two. Yeah. I mean, like the Africa stuff's definitely going to be long term. It's not something that's going to materialize in a year or two. When selling crypto, do you look at your alts individually? Do you sell when Bitcoin reaches? I look at them individually. Have you see? Have you heard any news on Wu lately? Seems to be going down quickly. Down. I have not heard much news on Wu lately. I do know that it was being pumped a while ago, though. It's been on YouTube for a while. I mean, yeah, he has been on YouTube for a while. He has a bunch of guests as well. Betting on his is powerful. There are a lot of them out there, I suppose. Any info on ICE airdrop for ICX? Uh, no, I don't have any information on that, unfortunately. I mean, I, 
I don't really know too much about the ICX airdrops. I'm basically just waiting for 2.0 to come out. I am still staking ICX though, along with band. If you are trying to type, if you're trying to type URLs in chat, that's not allowed. Uh, go out and whack it. People delayed in updating. The transaction speed is way slower than first launched. I see. Like Wu was being really, really hyped up um, a few weeks ago. So like we might be just be we might just be coming down from some of the hype. Not really sure. I mean, that's what happened. Like that's generally what tends to happen if, if something's being hyped up to infinity. I dumped my bag of soul at four, 40 cents, basically barely broke even. I was getting heart popular. I see. Do you think we can stake ICX on balance? Apparently there's no lockup period. I, I don't really, I'm just taking ICX and ICX. So I'm, I'm not really sure. What do you think of ANKR? People were really hype about ANKR a couple of months ago. I haven't heard too much from it since. Your portfolio has correlation. Who fall? Um... I keep refraining from FOMOing into Solana, but it keeps going higher. Solana for me, like if I were to invest now, it would definitely be a long-term play. It would not be a short-term play. Hey, Paulina, like Solana, if I were to if I were to buy Solana, it'd be a long-term play. Have you gotten into any NFT projects? I kind of want to get into the game, but it's confusing and hard. I mean, I've sold a couple of NFTs. I've I've sold a couple of NFTs, but I haven't actually gotten an NFT. I haven't bought any NFT projects now. The NFT market is very interesting. The NFT market is actually very interesting, but it's also kind of wacky. It is really kind of wacky. ETH rocks that they exist and people are paying what they are. It illustrates how ridiculous this all is. It, I mean, yes, I agree with you. It, it does symbolize how ridiculous this all is. I think the pump will be over this weekend. What pump? Just wait till Gato Rocks comes out. That's where the big money is at. Yeah, Gato Rocks. I, I have to... I have to wait until CNFT.io actually comes back up and I, I need the auctions to come up for CNFT.io. Hopefully when CNFT.io comes back up, the platform will be actually much faster. I'm definitely going to make a Gato Rocks NFT. I'm going to actually check to see if I can get free clip art of a freaking rock. Because I want to make some Gato Rocks. Need an illustration of a rock. Dang it, there isn't a good illustration of a rock. What the hell? I just need like, essentially, I, I think I just need like a gray polygon. I think I just need a gray polygon and draw a cat face on it or a gato rock. See if I can get a gray polygon. Like, I need something like that, but I don't want to pay Shutterstock money. I really don't want to pay like Shutterstock money for a picture of a gray rock because that's kind of dumb. Screw it. I'm probably just going to make a gray polygon. Just going to make a gray polygon. Just, yeah. Just scribble one yourself. Takes like 10 seconds. Yeah, that's probably what I'm, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Gato rocks. Because hey, if you're willing to buy other rocks, why not Gato rocks? Give your rock character history. Will it make it worth it? I'm going to say like plus 10 whiskers. No, like actually taking a rock, uh, taking a picture of a rock doesn't work as well as making like a, uh, an art, uh, 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 making a simple pixel art of a rock. Get into Omi. Utility is coming soon. I see. Soul MC is just seven. Based on ROI, where would you put your money right now? CHZ or SRM? That's a tough one because like they're both going to – I think they're both going to do really well. I mean CHZ, you have all the partnerships coming in. I think SRM because it's tied to Solana may actually have greater potential though. So I would probably go for XR, SRM but that's a tough one because CHZ has been doing some really good stuff. Randomize the whiskers, make them more unique. That's actually a good idea. That's actually a really, really good idea, randomizing the whiskers. Gato rocks, people. Gato rocks. Oh man, there's going to be so many opportunities for me to, for me to make money on NFTs because like so many people, uh, so many people are going to, uh, so many people have bought this stuff. I just basically need to draw like, I basically need to draw this stupid ass polygon. Uh, 
Where's the line tool? All right, that doesn't look like a rock. Where's the freaking line tool? I need to do like a fill with like gray or something. Where's the dump tool? All right, all right, all right, whatever. Uh, interesting rock times we live in. It is very, very interesting rock times we live in. I'll take a roundhouse kit gato. And like gatos don't have legs, so it'd be like a roundhouse tail slap. Your NFTs will become moderate when this channel grows more. I've been trying to grow the channel for a while though, so we'll we'll see. Maybe the gato rocks will actually make this channel more uh, more interesting. Where the heck is the line tool in Photoshop? You know, I know how to do edits in Photoshop, but I don't actually know how to draw a freaking polygon in Photoshop, which is kind of, which is like really, really kind of ridiculous if you think about it, but it's just how it works. Definitely just how it works. Huh. If you uh, I can make it using Pinta. I suppose if you Google my name, I can make you a pixel or some pickles are for you. rocks rock copyright Gato rock. I need to copyright everything that has to do with Gatos. Uh, you can get Atlas from Radium. Okay, okay. You think Matic is done? No, I don't think Matic is done. Look, just because it hasn't gone up in a month or two doesn't mean it's done. I mean, this is a coin that went up from like three or four cents to like two dollars very very quickly. So like it taking a bit of a break isn't that much of a surprise. I actually need to figure out how to do this because like I, I need to know how to do more like Photoshop stuff anyways. I mean like I need to give like uh, the rock a little bit more contour. Big jobs report this. Doubt the Fed will taper with these numbers like this. Probably not. I bought 156 worth of Atlas earlier and then the trade was executed 80% was bought at 15 cents. So I lost hundred dollars instantly. Well, the, the thing is like if you, if you're buying at places where there's low liquidity, that's very liable to happen. Remember some of these exchanges don't, some of these exchanges don't have like any kind of liquidity. Some of these exchanges don't have any kind of liquidity. What do you think of CHZ? I mean, I re I've already said I really like CHZ. I really like CHZ. Love VPets on the VeChain Tor blockchain. It was a limited run and the creator has now built a gallery. You walk around and view them all. It's really good. Did you have a chance to look into Ajax? Well, the, the thing is, AGIX is, um, isn't that just, isn't that the AI thing? Or was that just AGI? Let me, let me look. Yeah, it's Singularity Net. So, uh, I mean, they it's an it's a really interesting project there's not much i can say about it ai is going to be very big in the future and i know it's moving on i know it's going to be on cardano so i'm kind of bullish about it um it's it, you know like the tech the the technic like a, an ai marketplace would actually be really interesting it's not something that i would actually use myself but it definitely would be interesting. Like monetizing AI is going to be pretty big in the future. And I think this is really the only project that's doing this. So definitely has a lot of potential. Do you think the partnership with Cardano and Nervous Networks is a good thing? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 definitely big for Nervos. I don't really know how big it is for Cardano, but it's definitely big for Nervos. Uh, it's, it's it is very, very big for Nervos. I'm starting to like the punks art style, iconic NFT look that might have strong value potentially. Never thought I'd say that. Well, I'm not, a, I mean, I don't really care about the punks art style, but the thing is like, I think like first generation NFTs are, first generation NFTs are gonna have like, you know, some value at least. Man, Photoshop is so confusing because like, I, I want, I just wanna draw a damn line in Photoshop and I can't even do that. I can't even uh, draw a freaking line in Photoshop. Man, like there's too many tools and they're all scrunched up together. 
too many damn tools and they're all scrunched up together. Whatever. Uh, yeah. There's a thing. I hope because I heard Atlas will be the next. <laughs> yeah. I think people like, you know, the thing is, I think people are really, really, um, I, I actually do think people are really, are too obsessed looking for the next style, the next, what you should be, what you should do is look for like, what you actually should do is actually look for like a bunch of like 10 or 20 X projects and hop from one to another hopping from one. I think hopping from one to another, uh, is going to, I think hopping from one to another, um, is definitely like a better, uh, is definitely like, a, a a better strategy. I think hopping one from another, yeah, hopping from one to another is going to be like a better strategy. Hopping from one to another is definitely going to be a much better strategy. Because like you're much more likely to find 10 or 20 X's um, than like a thousand X's. A thousand X is quite rare and you're taking, you're always taking the, you're always taking the risk that like, you know, you're always kind of taking the risk um, that, you know, it won't reach and then you're just going to be kind of screwed, you know, is such a bad platform. I wanted to buy some $88 yesterday, but can't even log in. Well, they're upgrading their database. So I'm not really, they're upgrading their database. So I'm not really sure. Um, like when it's actually going to be done updating. It's uh, actually the first crypto game I think I'd really like to play. Nice, nice. At, uh, it looks like cash is moving from the largest exchanges in South Africa to crypto, hence the clamping. I see. I mean, you know, if, if certain countries see that happening, I, I can definitely see them clamping. I can definitely see them clamping if, if, uh, if that's what's actually happening. How do I change this toolbar? All right, I need this rectangle tool. Or a polygon tool. I don't even know how this works. You? Oh, that's a circle tool. All right, this is like, Photoshop is too damn confusing. I'll figure this out later. CNFT said it would be only down for a few hours on the first, but still not fixed. Yeah, they, they're definitely having a bunch of database problems, but you know, like, it, these platforms, these platforms are actually kind of, these platforms are really kind of new. So it's, it's, it's going to be hard to predict all these. It's definitely going to be hard to predict all these things. It is definitely going to be hard to predict all these things. All right, this line tool sucks. I have no idea what's going on. All right, I need to draw a freaking rock and it's not letting me draw a freaking rock. This polygon's like a pentagram or a pentagon. I don't really care about this. All right, whatever, whatever. How to draw a rock in Photoshop. I don't really want a photo real. I kind of, I guess, whatever. We'll see it. We'll see it. Matic looks juicy. Matic will eventually go up. I just don't really know when. Yoroi at the moment doesn't have a swap, but we'll probably have one for sure in the near future. I, I mean, it, I mean, like, I, I do think Yoroi will probably just adopt one of the. I, I think like Yoroi will probably just. Um, I would say like your Roy probably will actually have them in the future, but we'll see. We'll see. All 
All right, I'm gonna actually look to see how to draw a gray rock in Photoshop. Cause I just need some Gato rocks. But then again, I, I'm gonna wait for CNFT.io to come back. So yeah, I'm bullish. I think Nami is the wallet most geared for something like that. Uh, dots silently. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is like Dots parachain auctions aren't until November. So as we get closer to November, Dot might actually come up. Dot might definitely come up as we get closer to November. It's nice to see Dot finally, it is actually nice to see Dot finally getting some movement though. SEC in the crypto exchange developer Uniswap labs. Yes, uh, that's why that's why uh, my title, like SEC is targeting Uniswap. My guess is they're actually more like, I think more of like, they're more of like working with Uniswap to target some of the projects on Uniswap than targeting Uniswap itself. That's my guess at least. What are your thoughts on Polkadot? You didn't uh, sell, tell us last stream. Uh, it's hard to say without like all the parachains launching, but it is a project that I would consider investing a bit of money in us sec. And yeah, I miss the Uniswap. So basically like the sec is kind of like looking at Uniswap. I do think they're going to work with Uniswap to like audit some of the projects on Uniswap. So V chain foundation as reported by China news, PricewaterhouseCoopers, the China Inf Inter International Fair for Trade and Services, has officially announced that AirTrace is powered by VeChain. So this was actually speculated on a while ago. That's Chinese, obviously. Um, so like um, this was speculated a while ago, but now it's like uh, now it's uh, completely official. I'm not going to link this because this is not secure. So. Um, during the Chinese 2021 International Trade Services Fair, the international accounting firm PricewaterhouseCoopers released the Ion Tracking Low Code Solution at the Service Fair. Ion Tracking is PwC's first low code innovative solution that supports blockchain technology. According to reports, the solution is built on the digital maker low code platform developed independently developed by the PwC Chinese team. I think that's the, uh, that I, I do actually think that's the one they're talking about. This translation is really awful. This translation is awful and hilarious. Check this out. Check this out. It also has a low code development platform that is flexible, efficient, connectable, safe, and compatible. The advantage of a high sex. That's hilarious. That is freaking hilarious. They're talking about blockchain and then now they're saying the advantage of high sex. They, they obviously like, it's probably high technology, but they just miss, they just misprinted it. They just misprinted it. That is like, that is mildly, that is very, very mildly hilarious. Definitely mildly hilarious. I, and they're, they're, they're also saying E in tracking. It's obviously I on tracking. Can meet the needs of the environment and safety product, safety and other industries. Um, yeah. So they, they did actually like, according to Zhang, so this is the meat of it. According to Zhang Jushan, partner of PwC China's financial technology, PW's digital products are developed by the company itself, combined with VeChain's underlying block technology, blockchain technology platform and its digital transformation solutions. It will help build the core competitiveness of digitalization and further promote the uh, development of China's digital economy. But the real takeaway is that VeChain technology involves the advantage of high sex. So you have to buy it now. You absolutely have to buy it now. You absolutely have to buy it now because now it it has the advantages of high sex. Don't draw the rock. Now I'm definitely gonna draw the rock. I'm, I I have to figure out how to draw the rock. I definitely have to figure out how to draw the rock. That's marketing. Who said VT? That's pure marketing. Miss like mistranslated stuff. Absolutely pure genius marketing. Pure genius marketing. You bought your thought on AMP. I mean, people like, you know, whenever I hear like people mentioning a lot like that, I feel like it's just a coin that's gone up a lot lately. Um, and 
they're like people are just looking at it, hoping that it'll go up again. I mean, it is like a collateral token, so it does have its use case. I just don't. I haven't really seen. I just don't really know what the adoption of it's actually like. What do you think, Verge? Is let me let me check. It. Is that Verge? I've never. If it's Verge, I've never really trusted Verge. I'm not saying it can't pump because it can, but I've never really trusted Verge. I just took. I see. Uh, BTC at 50k resistance turned into support. I don't think so. I don't think it's risen. I don't think Bitcoin has risen far enough above 50k to actually turn into support. I don't think it has. I don't think it's risen above 50k enough to actually um, turn this. Did Bitboy already shill ADAX? You know, it really depends on what you consider shilling ADAX. Do you think his mentioning of a partnership with ADAX is actually shilling it? If that's so, then yes. But if he's gonna make a ton of videos shilling ADAX, then no. No, like for, for it to break above 50K, I think it has to reach like 52 or 53K for it to solidly break above 50K. And then like a few days afterwards, all coins are really going to start to head up after that. Because 50K, I believe, is the next resistance level. Just like when Bitcoin broke 40K, the altcoins went up a lot. When it breaks 50K, the altcoins are going to go up a lot as well. Now, when Bitcoin breaks 50K, it's going to break go up a lot as well. ICX wouldn't start. I don't really know. Her Polygon might drop airdrop a new governance token to its holders. I mean, that could just be another project that's built on Polygon. Definitely could be another project that's built on Polygon. Yesterday was an interview with the CEO of Flexa Amp. Today, Coin Bureau talked about it. I mean, it is getting a lot of press. That's probably why so many people are actually asking about it. And Flexa, I think, like is using Amp though, so that's at least one use case there. At least one use case there. I don't know what other, I don't really know what other adoption it has though, but at least one use case. If government allows all these stable coins, I think collateral tokens for, okay. Can you tell us a little bit about Rev, please? I don't really have that much information about Rev. The thing is, like, I'm not going to have that much information on, like, random altcoins. Um, and there's two revs. There's, like, Rev Revade and R-Chain. If ADAX is legit, it will explode. It's on only on X markets. Yeah, the thing is that once ADAX is actually on more exchanges, if it's actually legit, it will go up a lot in price, I believe. Same thing with uh, Sol Solana X, but I don't really know if that's legit or not. Flexa had all the hype about Amazon partnership rumors high, right? I don't think they had a partnership with Amazon, right? That Cream Finance hack put AMP out there. It did, but that was more of like a bad, that's not a good thing though. Cause like AMP was the, 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 the AMP contract was the one that actually got exploited. Do you think ADAX will moon when Gogan comes out? I hope, full, hopefully yes. Do you like ICP? No, I'm not a huge fan of ICP. Like, I still don't know much about it. And to me, it honestly just looks like a centralized database. I mean, it's up like 21% today. Ravain is an online platform for Ethereum blockchain-based tokens reviews. So it's basically a review site for Ethereum-based tokens. I mean, the thing is, if you if they can actually get high-quality reviews... 
I do think this will be valuable because like there's a lot of crap on Ethereum out there. So if they if you can actually get legitimate reviews on here, I think people will use this a lot. I haven't really looked at their platform though. Where do you see ZIL on this bull run? I don't, you know, I haven't heard about ZIL for a while. I don't really know if there's anything actually using ZIL right now. I'm, I'm sh I mean, I'm sure it'll go up along with everything else, but outside of that, I'm really not sure. Soldier Da for Kusama. I do think Kusama will get you better returns. Yes. I don't know. Like, I think a lot of people are to uh, are targeting like Dogecoin a dollar, but I just don't really know if that's going to happen. Like Mark Cuban is trying to shill it. Elon Musk will, might actually come back to shilling it sometime. It's hard to say with Dogecoin because to me, they don't really have any advantages over any other coin, but there's so much meme power there that it might pump at any time. So Dogecoin is a very, like Dogecoin is a very, very hard one for me to gauge. Huge, yeah, I mean, ICX, out of the three I picked, ICX, ADA, VET, ICX has definitely been the big disappointment. However, ICX, to make up for it, ICX does have pretty decent staking. I'm going to sell Solana for Ecomi. Okay, decentralized coins have the best marketing. I suppose, I suppose. I don't think so either. It's a decade-long hold for me. I see. The thing is, like... Uh, there's, I think there's better decade-long holds than Dogecoin, though. A lot better ones. Why do people think... You... <laughs> I wish people did think I was a crypto oracle. I'd get a lot more viewers that way. How much money you think is good money to retire as a Zoomer? I don't really know. I mean, like, you're still, like, a Zoom... Like, if you're a Zoomer, you're still very far away from retirement. You're probably, like, in your 20s if you're a Zoomer. Uh, like... The, the thing about working is you shouldn't like, oh, like if you have a job where you're just looking forward to retirement, you need to get another job. Um, I mean, are, if you're asking me, are there any U.S. exchanges that uh, have ADAX? No. I, I'm sure people use in the U.S. have used X markets to buy it, though. I am optimistic about the future of VVOMI. Um, I am definitely optimistic about the future of VV and Omi. I have Solana and Ecomi, but Omi just not doing much. Just lost me money so far. I'm still holding both, but Solana at least made me some cash. Okay, yeah. I mean, you might have to, like, I don't, if you, if you only hold, held the coin for a couple of months, I don't think that's really enough time. Is X Markets a legit exchange? I haven't used it. People, I mean, I've heard some people say it works fine. I've heard other people say it's scammed them, so I'm not really sure. X Markets. Well, retirement is kind of boring, honestly. Like, if you're 20 years old and you retired, it is kind of boring, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't have KYC if you don't if you don't buy with just fiat. I, I've heard that I've heard some people say that X Markets has frozen their funds, though. The XRP lawsuit, it looks like it's going pretty well for XRP right now. I don't think it's going to resolve this month, though. I know, like, I've heard a lot of P XRP people say it's going to resolve this month. I don't think that's true. I don't have anything huge for Harmony. I had no problem. Swap ADA for ADAX and just send it to Euro. I think someone, like, put, like, tens of thousands of dollars on ADAX, and then it got stole. Uh, then it got, like, frozen. I would hate to have that happen. Gone out of Omi. Gone out of Omi. You might come back when the app has matured. Yeah, the thing is, the app doesn't actually... The app hasn't integrated Omi yet. That's a big problem. The app definitely needs to integrate Omi itself. I retired at 35, had to return to work a year later. Did you just get too bored or something? I feel like if I didn't do the streams and I didn't go and I didn't make fishing videos, I would get so freaking bored. And that's kind of like what I do for a job anyways, plus the photography stuff. If I didn't do any of that stuff, I get so bored. Any ideas why Prometheus randomly pumped 60% today? It seems randomly pump and dump. I mean, a lot of these coins are randomly pump and dump. I wouldn't send that much money on those kind of exchanges. Oh, I would definitely, I wouldn't send anywhere near that much money, uh, that much money on those exchanges. It's crazy what VET, that VET isn't on Coinbase. Uh, I went broke, definitely need more than you think. I mean, I don't think it's about going broke. I think I would just get like really bored if I didn't have anything to do all day, you know? Like, 
if I just sat around all day, like I need goals in life and a job is like, I need goals in life and a job is a way to get those goals. Some guy was saying there's a new, uh, coming soon on prom. Really don't know about that. It's not frozen or block me. I reinvested 20 K I see. No, I don't photograph weddings. Do not photograph weddings. Cardano successfully upgrades the test net. Next stop, HFC. I mean, the HFC is actually... Wait, hang on. I think the HFC is actually happened, right? The Combinator event? Like, the, the actual launch is on the 12th, though. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. Yeah, I hope it is a long bull run. That would be good if you don't like office setting. Yeah, I don't really want to work in sales. I'm very, I'm pretty happy with what I do right now. So I have, uh, I have no, I'm pretty happy with what I do right now. So I have no intentions of retiring. Uh, you don't really, I don't think you really need that much. Like not if you invest wisely, because you can, you can actually get 5 million. Like if you just put your money under a mattress and do nothing, sure. But if you actually invest wisely, like with $1 million, getting 5% of $1 million, you get $50,000 a year. You should be able to live off of, like in most places in the United States, you should be able to live off of $50,000 a year without touching your principal. I thought HFC was combining the test net with the main net. Yeah, I think the HFC event was supposed to happen like September 1st, right? And then like, the, the the smart contract supposed to launch September twelfth, and they said the smart contract launch was a go. Yeah, like like if you find something you like to do, you should make that your job. Because like, on it, like I said, I think like just it'd be horribly horribly boring if you just like sat there and did nothing all day. How much of a chance is there? Yeah, I'm bullish on Polygon. Then okay. Nice, nice, nice. Thoughts on XCur Zero Gas Fee NFT Marketplace? It might announce SOL partnership. Could be nice. It, you know, look, my my view is like for a mainnet, you actually need to have some gas fees. You can't have a lot of them, but for a mainnet, I think you actually need some gas fees for incentives and for the tokenomics to actually work. I, for the tokenomics to actually work, I think there needs to be a small gas fee for transactions. That's just my opinion, of course. Definitely just my opinion, of course. ETH lose a lot of ground to Solana and 88 and gaming NFT. Right now, it's definitely going to because ETH, Ethereum can't scale. Um, once it's able to scale, I mean, like, I don't really know when it's actually going to be able to scale, like, on the base layer. It might it might take a while. Nice to see Pan moving. Yep. You're working on a TV mounting company. I don't know if that's a good idea, man. TVs aren't as popular as they used to be. I basically just watch everything on my laptop. I suppose like I suppose like people still want big screen TVs to watch like sports games and stuff. Do you think ADAs will dip after smart contracts or there's uh, going to be different this time? You know the thing is like they might buy the rumor sell the news, but I think if even if AD, ADA dips, it's going to recover very quickly, so I'm not too worried. My plan is to create Make 50 to 80K and then reinvest mostly. Okay, okay. Do you think ADA will dip after smart? Okay, I already answered that. You, can you go to curate dot style and check the conversation with other NFT marketplace? Wait, dot has an NFT marketplace? They haven't even launched their parachains yet. Gasless NFT marketplace app. Is is this Solana or is it Dot? I, I don't. What is this actually on? So uh, curate gasless free minting, commission, physical goods. So wait, which which one is uh like what platform is this on? Free minting, def if it's free minting, is definitely a huge thing, though. They do, I mean, like free minting is a huge thing, and their commission isn't too bad. 
So it's ERC20 and BEP20. So it's both ERC and Binance. Let's look at their roadmap. Uh, launch NFT marketplace. I guess I would have to use it. Wait. So this should also this already should be launched, right? Oh, they already have the apps. So that's cool. Um, that's cool. But I want a web. I I want like a desktop version of this thing. I definitely want like a desktop version of this thing. I don't see a desktop version. <laughs> any news on V? Bought it. I don't have any new more news on V. V completely depends on uh, uh, Vim World's like uh, pop popularity. LTC woke up today. Nice, nice. I mean, Litecoin is not one of the coins I would invest in. I mean, like, it'll go up, sure, but I think other coins will go up a lot more. Seems like a terrible model. Feeless just means spam. I mean, that's kind of what I'm afraid of, open the box. You know, my pastor actually lived on like around fifty, fifty-five thousand dollars a year here, and it wasn't too bad. He he only had two kids though. Hopefully, Litecoin hits a K this year. You know, Litecoin should be able to hit a thousand, honestly. I mean, it already broke the high of 400. So, Vast Bank now allowing us to make BTC purchases from our checking account. Nice, nice. And also, I'm also, I'm only really talking about like you yourself, like being single, 50K should easily be enough for single. If you have a, if you have a family to support, 50K might be kind of like, if you actually have a family, like 50K could be like one of the, uh, 50K should be kind of on the lower side. But if you're just by yourself, 50K should be fine. Like five years ago, that like four years ago, that's when you should have sold your BitConnect. Like when is George's hidden pleasure? Dude, I haven't really, I haven't really been up on Litecoin. I haven't been up on Litecoin ever since Charlie Lee basically dumped everything. Uh, Litecoin is basically BTC's testnet. That's that's really what it is. That, that's really what Litecoin is. It's essentially BTC's testnet, and I think that's what it'll all it's ever going to be. Why does Celsius play so much interest on SNX? I don't really know. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Like, if you're that into like, like why wouldn't you just pick something else? Because I feel like that something else would actually make you more money than Litecoin. Uh, Litecoin, LTC is not going to go to zero. It's basically BTC's testnet. Is Joanne, pro you probably covered all the VET news. There wasn't any real VET news today. I mean, like, yes, uh, they, they did confirm that AirTrace, Vigar, they did actually confirm that AirTrace is actually built on VET, which is pretty good. They also like mistranslated the article and then and uh, said VET had high sex technology, which if it has that, I mean, everyone should buy it. Dude, if you're like, if you're actually like single, if you're actually, if you're by yourself, you can easily have a girlf girlfriend on 50K. It's really not that hard. Unless you like, you just can't, you might not be able to have a high maintenance girlfriend on 50K. You, you wouldn't be able to have a high maintenance girlfriend. But sure, I live in lots of new builds, ton of people moving here. So I mean, a hundred dollars a TV, nice, dude. I think everyone wants that tech. Definitely think everyone wants that tech. I had a hundred K ADA. I bought a seven cent swap to LTC. Biggest mistake in my crypto career. Yeah, LT obviously like you know like ADA obviously had like a lot more potential than LTC ever did. LTC XRP EOS. 
look, dude, if college if college students can have girlfriends, then you can definitely have a girlfriend on fifty k. It's like as long as she's not like unless you, unless you get like a super high maintenance high maintenance one, it shouldn't be that much of a problem, honestly. You know the thing is EOS isn't really high cap anymore. EOS is EOS is not actually high cap anymore. I mean, it's not really I don't think EOS isn't even top 20 anymore, you know. EOS has fallen so much. It's like EOS is like barely top 30. So I, I wouldn't really consider it a high cap anymore. Dude, 50k would be 50k a year would be like super rich in El Salvador. I, look, it's not that hard. It's really not that hard to live on 50k if you're sing, if you're single, even if you're dating someone. It's really not that hard to live on 50k. I mean, you might have like you might have like super expensive tastes, but 50k isn't that bad. I, I think EOS was more than one billion. Actually, I think they raised something like four billion. It's what people on Instagram make you believe you need. Yeah, but people like Instagram models are like extremely high maintenance. If you ended up, look, if you end up dating one of those girls, yeah, you're gonna need a lot more than fifty k. But you don't have to date one of them. Did Charlie Lee rug pull? I don't know if he rug pulled because I don't think he had enough LTC to rug pull. But realistically, Charlie Lee sold all his LTC at three hundred dollars in the last bull run. He obviously took the money and ran. Yeah, look, for one person, 50K is easy enough to support a decent lifestyle in most places in the United States. If you live in Manhattan or LA, probably not. But if you live anywhere else, sure. Uh, I haven't been watching Gold Digger videos. Crypto OG should not be aiming for 50 <laughs> Don't buy fancy sports car or brand items. Invest what you can for 50 Yeah, you could... Look, man, there's many places in the U.S. where you can live fairly comfortably under 50K. It's not really that difficult. You know, look, here's the thing. Like, the average salary in the United States is actually under 50K. The the average the the average uh, the average U.S. salary is actually under 50K. So that should actually tell you something. Like the average salary, like 50K is really the average salary in the United States if you have a college degree. If you take out the college degree, overall average is much less than 50K. So, I mean, that's, I mean, you have that right there, man. You have that right there. If you buy like a regular, like, you know, if you buy a regular Civic or a, or an Accord, you live in a regular apartment or a regular house, you don't buy fancy stuff, you're fine. Throw it all the way to its all-time high. BTC wasn't promoted as Central Figurehead. Yeah, that's because BTC Central Figurehead is probably dead. But I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, people did look at Charlie Lee as the Central Figurehead, and that completely was bad. Yeah, but here's the thing, like people do have house payments and we do have rent. I think you're you're definitely overpaying uh you're definitely overplaying inflation. Would you say it's okay to completely sell up when you reach your goal and start again in the bear market or should you always hold some? I I probably hold like 10% or something. I would probably hold like 10%. Going to med sales. I've actually watched like some hilarious YouTube videos about med sales. Uh, low tax and high salaries. New Hampshire. I mean, federal taxes are like the easily like the bulk of the taxes, not so much state, state taxes. Telcoin, I mean, people were really up about, like people were very, very hype about Telcoin because they did open up like some small remittance corridor, 
But the thing is, like, I, I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be several projects fighting over like the smaller remittance corridors because the larger ones probably aren't going to use crypto. New Hampshire has high property tax. I'm sure it does, but if you don't own any property, that's not really a problem. <laughs> Ever seen that show Super Cheapskate? Some of those people make far more. I'm sure they do. Look, look just because you're rich doesn't mean you're doesn't mean you're not cheap. Like, like some of the cheapest people are like the richest people as well. What do you think? Like Michael Jordan, I've heard like Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, I've heard were like insanely cheap. That's why, like, like one of the nicknames that Pippin got around his area was No Tippin' Pippin. What do you think Cardano takes so much DeFi market? I think Cardano will take a decent amount of DeFi market. The, the Deep South is, like, some of the cheapest places to live. Like, because the Deep South is generally a fairly poor area in the country. So like poor areas are going to have like lower cost of living. Do you think whole market cap can gain another three X to peak at six trillion for this cycle? I think so. I, th I think it's definitely possible. I think most of the gains are going to be alts though. Not really Bitcoin. I think most of the our gains are definitely going to be altcoins. Not, not really Bitcoin. Dude, if I had Warren Buffett's money, I definitely wouldn't eat McDonald's every day. I'd definitely at least go I'd definitely go to at least some healthier options. But I guess Warren Buffett's like 90 years old, so like it doesn't really matter to him. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't really know why it's frozen for you, but it's fine for me. Puerto Rico is capital gains tax free if you live there for eight months per year. Yeah, but I don't feel like I don't really want to live in Puerto Rico though. I don't understand Warren Buffett. He's like ninety something years old and he's super rich, so he must be doing something right. He still drink he drinks Coke too. I mean, the thing is, like, if he's not trying, if if Buffett isn't trying to like promote prolong his life, it doesn't really matter. If I was, I have like Jimmy Buffett, just paying, it's just paying to be close to a big city, I suppose. Some people can eat all the crap they want and live forever. And other people can like eat the best and they still die really young. Should I bail out of Uniswap? If you want to reallocate your Uniswap funds elsewhere, I guess that'd be okay. But I don't, I don't know. I really don't know if Uniswap is in trouble or not. Every other single YouTube channel says you must have BTC and ETH. Starting to think they're just trying to protect their own investments. Maybe. I, I don't really know why you have to have BTC or ETH. He drinks five cans of soda a day. Warren Buffett's like an immortal god. We just don't know it. I don't think Ether's days are done, and I still definitely think Ethereum has time to reinvent itself. But the clock is kind of ticking on Ethereum because other projects are catching up. I know that Buffett doesn't really live lavishly, though. He might not drink, like, Coke or eat McDonald's or whatever. But, you know, like, he's also, like, 90-something years old. I've not heard of Terath, no. Yes, I mean, Ethereum is behind the curve, but they've got a large lead in terms of adoption and network effect. What the hell is a Chrysler LeBron? That's that that sounds like a really really old car.
1995, man. Oh man, it's it's like it's weird to talk about 1995 as like super old. So they made him from 1931 to 41 and from 1955 to 95. So I'm guessing he has one of the later ones. You really must have crypto or us says you really must have 50% of me and, and the other 25. I, I don't really know why you would actually, you really need to have that. That doesn't make any sense to me that you necessarily have to have that allotment. Why? You know that BTC and ETH, I mean, unless you really want to play it safe, you know that BTC and ETH isn't going to go up as much as the other altcoins during a run. What the heck is a Twitter spaces? You had an Imperial LeBron 68. My first car was a 1995 LeBaron convertible total. I mean, my first car was a Toyota Corolla. It was pretty good. I got rear-ended by a truck. And then they had to like pay me for rear-ending my car. And I bought my new uh, second car. And I'm about to buy my third one. I mean, Lante, there's not much of a process. I basically look at like I look at certain attributes of a coin, and then I just go to like either Binance.us or Coinbase and buy the coin. George, he's thinking like a traditional portfolio, as in 60-40 splits. This doesn't apply to crypto. They're all risk assets. I mean, there's there's different risks to different cryptos. Definitely, that I'm not really going to argue about. Like that, I'm not actually going to argue with. But the thing is, like, if you are willing to absorb that risk, I don't really see why you absolutely have to have BTC and ETH. I mean, a car is a pure utility vehicle for me, so I don't really care how it looks all that much. Thoughts on uh, TrueFi protocol? I don't, I don't really have that much information on TrueFi protocol. Don't understand Warren Buffett. What's the point of earning that amount of money if you're going to live cheaply? Maybe he just likes earning money. Maybe he just really likes earning money. The thing is, like, that could be pretty safe for, like, new investors because Bitcoin and Ethereum could are almost guaranteed to get you gains without being rug pulled. But some of the other top 10 coins, I'm pretty sure aren't rug pulls either. So this, while Bitcoin and Ethereum are more safe, I don't think they're that much more safe. I'm actually going to actually make a video on why you don't necessarily need to hold Bitcoin and Ethereum in crypto. Because I don't really believe in that. I don't really believe in that at all. I mean, if... Yeah, I mean, like, if you're looking for reliable appreciation stability... I could actually see that. If you're going for gains, though, I, that's really not the way you should actually go. And, and the thing is, like, I don't think some of these other coins are that much less safe than Bitcoin or Ethereum. Like, for instance, I don't think Cardano is that much less safe than Bitcoin or Ethereum. I don't think, like, Solana, well, Solana, I don't think Solana or something with, like, Sam Bagman Fried is, like, that much less safe. And the thing is, you always have a risk that BTC is going to get flipped sometime. And because BTC is like only real use cases of store value, if it does get flipped, it could actually be in trouble. Even if it's ETH that flips BTC, like BTC is going to be in trouble. And it's very, very possible it gets flipped. So I don't really buy that argument. I really don't buy that argument at all. Yeah, that, that argument doesn't work with me. How like to have market cycles? <laughs> Sorry. Realistically, to mimic a traditional 64, you'd want to see stable coins at high interest than BTC. That's true. But I mean, like, open the box, even stable coins have their risk as well.
Yeah, but the thing is, you can't really say that because it like BTC and ETH sure, but Cardano's far surpassed its all-time high. Like B and B's just basically gone insane in the last twenty, like you know, two or three years. Solana's way past its all-time high as well. Doge is like just ripped through like the last all-time high for the bull run. So like if you if I look at the top ten or twenty coins, most of those coins have actually outperformed BTC and ETH. I mean, Litecoin would be an exception and BCH would be an exception, but like a lot of these things like massively, massively moved up from their last all-time highs. I don't really believe in the 50, 20, 25, 25 rule at all. I think the idea is that BDC is going to still be around in 10 plus years. Yeah, but see, like, I don't think that's a great bet either because BTC's only real value is a store of value. And the thing is, like, if something flips it, that becomes a better store of value. So I don't really see that argument. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, that's going to be it for this afternoon. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I, hopefully I'll be back tonight. I will see you guys later.